Well, when most people think of Terre Haute, they think of basketball and Larry Bird, but there's something else this town is known for. It's a fan crazed rock and roll army founded right here 35 years ago. News 10's Kate Green takes a look back at the legendary Kiss Army. This is Paul Stanley of Kiss. WVTS and Engine Limited announced that the Kiss concert is now sold out. We're listening to a radio broadcast from 1975. Again. The Kiss concert is sold out. But hearing Kiss on here wasn't do. always the case. Six months ago at this time, if I would have mentioned Kiss, you would have turned your nose up, right? Not you. That's the voice of Bill Starkey. Now, years later. 35 years ago today, you were the guy who started the Kiss Army. Telling his story again. I was a kid in Terre Haute, Indiana, who liked the band. We caught up with Bill at his home in Speedway, Indiana. Surrounded by... From personal pictures to personalized plaques. People have offered me money for this crazy thing. I've been offered 10000 You would think he's part of the band. There's like either a story behind it or something. There's a reason why, why I have it. His story starts in 1975 when he and his friend Jay Evans tried requesting Kiss music on West Terre Haute Station. <laughs> This jockey was polite, and he just said, well, we, we don't play Kiss. We wouldn't take that as a, as a non-answer. Bill and Jay began marching to their own beat. It was like Wayne's World. We were two guys. We, we weren't getting dates. We weren't the most popular kids in school, but we had our own little, you know, thing there. Their thing was protesting the station. It's time for a Kiss Army letter of the day. Jay was in his army kick that... We would call what we were doing the Kiss Army. Before long, it worked. Probably around September that they started playing it, and then after that it got crazy. Kiss announced they were coming to Terre Haute, and WVTS gave Bill shocking news. Kiss found out what you were doing, and they want to meet you, and uh, they like the idea of a Kiss Army. His military mission turned madness on November 21st, 1975. Kiss took over Terre Haute. And remember that plaque, the one worth around $10,000? It's the very same one given to Bill by the band on stage. It was amazing because that wasn't our objective. It was just, you know, promote the band and get the key band on the radio. But Bill and his bunnies did more than that. They made an army. They made history. Or what he calls history. I enjoy my place in history. You know, that's just something that will always be with me. And, I, and I'm equally proud of the band. I mean, that's, you know, there's a reason why they're still around. A band blasting on the radio for years to come with an army following them every step of the way. Special hello to our army. Right? Bill, I want to thank you for coming in today, man. It's been a lot of fun. A whole hour of Kiss music. With photojournalist John Tim, Kate Green. Now to hear more from the radio broadcast and other exclusive audio recordings of KISS, simply go to our website at WTHITV.com. Plus this Sunday, November 21st, Bill Starkey will join 105.5 The River's Ed Zeppelin for an hour of back-to-back -back KISS music in honor of the 35th anniversary of the KISS Army. It all starts at noon, Indiana time, only on 105.5 The River. News 10 at Midday, we'll be right back. To celebrate today's big anniversary, some very special guests stopped by 105.5 The River's radio station to voice their support. Even some famous band members joined in the celebration. News 10 photojournalists Gary Bryan and Louisa Moeller show us how. Kiss, 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 kiss. That's right. 35 years ago today, the KISS Army started right here in Terre Haute. We got uh, guys here from uh, St. Louis and uh, Indianapolis. I'm from Lone Oak, Arkansas. Basically, they, everybody down there looks at me as KISS Army, Arkansas. Uh, special co-host this hour, we've got Bill Starkey, the KISS Army General. What Bill Starkey did, you know, with Jay is, is unprecedented in rock and roll. And he'll, he'll be the first one to let you know he wasn't the only one that started it. You know, he was just one of the people. That what motivates me a lot, too, is, is the the fans, like the fans that are out in the parking lot uh, this, this morning. They took all these individual voices that weren't getting heard and rallied them into an army. Terre Haute's got so many unique things about its past, but this is one of those things that is very unique, and, uh, and then there's a lot of folks that are very involved with the KISS Army. Now, therefore, I, Duke A. Bennett, Mayor of the City of Terre Haute, do hereby proclaim Sunday, November 21st, 2010, as KISS Army Day in the city of Terre Haute, Indiana. 
we are proud of not only having played at Terre Haute, but calling Terre Haute as the birthplace of the KISS Army. Everybody knows there are no fans like KISS fans. KISS fans in the beginning fought for the band. It's just important to recognize those things from our past that still continue today. And this is the radio station, according to KISS fol folklore, where the kids surrounded the radio station. And as you look back there, you can see the uh, radio control towers are still there. This was a powerhouse rock station in its day in, in the Wabash Valley. And um, it's since, well, it was somebody's residency then, and, and it's somebody's residency now. Um, this place was, uh, this people was all over the place because VTS didn't hide the fact that KISS was coming. And um, so technically, this is where they, they come up with the idea that kids surrounded the radio stations. Because when KISS arrived here, they played disc jockey in the basement um, for quite a while. And, and uh, I'm sure when the band got up there, it looked like what it was. Kids had surrounded this radio station. And um, like I said, I've had fans over the years come up to me and they said, well, we'd like to see where it is. I mean. I've had fans come say, well, if they were driving through Terre Haute, they'd like to see where the radio station was that the kids surrounded. I said, well, it's not downtown. It's way, way out in West Terre Haute. It's, 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 it's kind of off the road, too. And, uh, but here it is. And uh, really not a lot has changed. I mean, uh, it's a big place. And, uh, you know, it it's, uh, was, was, was a ranch house then. And you drove around to the back. and. Um, the radio station was in the basement, and I remember taking my painted up unknown soldiers of the KISS Army. We'd go up there and we'd knock on the door. And Well, here's when KISS arrived oh at Holman gosh. Field <laughs> with their jet. And that's Holman Field. When this picture right here with the fireman was taken right over here by that tree because oh, okay. the fire truck parked over there uh -huh. and KISS parked there, and there I am. Oh, my and I was, that uh, was me, yeah. Wow. And, um, these are from the concert at Holman oh. Center that day. I'll be done. And there's the other picture from the fire truck that they took. Uh -huh. And um, wow. we're still trying to find the fireman. But here's the one that I think that you would probably find unique. This is in your basement. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there's Rich. I recognize there. the ceiling. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See, the ceiling's <laughs> the same. Well, Gene Simmons was in your basement. So oh, what can God. I say? <laughs> Just talk to them generally about, well, you know, going out to VT. Maybe talk to them out there, but that's about all. Nothing real. We're not real organized. <laughs> uh, how about you? Well, have you been out here just with him? Just that long? Yeah. So what, are you, uh, what are your feelings on kids? I like them. <laughs> what? They're good. You like a hard driving sound and the concert and just the makeup and the whole shot? Yes. All right, thank you. How long have you been waiting? Oh, about 45 minutes. Uh, what made you come out? Just to see him come in. To see what kind of uh, reaction it is, what all this kid is, who would show up, what kind of people would show up. All right, thank you. How about you? How long have you been waiting? I've been out as long as he has. Is the weather, do you think uh, the weather's going to dampen? Uh, the response or anything? I hope not. I hope it's so okay for me. Do you think, uh, like, do you think there's going to be a lot more people out here if it's been a little warmer?
20 years of riding, and they step off the plane and try to get, they try to get some kind of reaction. They are coming out. Is that okay? Go out there now. Uh, you're still on the way here. I'm trying to get some last minute instructions on. Thank <laughs> you. 
crowd as much as anything else is when you when you're with people. I'm sure you're not like this when the lights go out, right? Right. right. When the lights go out, something else comes out. You're with your carnal. Okay, let's go to these.
you want, you want, you want to No, I don't want a specific oh. guy. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to see you know, the address. Or, oh, it's okay. You know, I'm sure they'll love the uh, Actually, it's real attractive. They're excellent people, and they're located in New York, and anybody... Moonstone used to be. Now it's real attractive. Yeah. Well, I did get a couple of calls at the station that uh, somebody wanted to know where you could pick up a pair of boots like yours. You would, you would probably want to be going Mr. Ananya. Yeah. Ananya Brothers in New York City. They're listed in the phone book. Okay. okay. So uh, we've got that down. But they, yeah, they're not. You'd have to save a couple of weeks' salary, you know. So. How many, uh, on an average, how many people get painted up and, you know, at our show? Just, well, at the show. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I was talking about, like, okay. Sean and I, everybody comes in the rock and roll outfit and everything like that. Is that... I think that's what you want. You want to get to the people who want to have stuff like that. We want our fans are very uh, active fans. You know, they're different than, uh, than your normal everyday fans. Because they spend time. Not only do you have to put the, the makeup on, but you've got to see if the people that you live with every day, you know, and they're looking at you and you know that you're causing a stir. People really get off on that, and we love our fans. There's no way that we take anything away from them. Huh? Tonight, we'll see a couple of hundred kids thanks to that. Uh, Pete, could you tell me about that incident in Cadillac, Michigan, where the, the mayor got painted up and uh, something? Cadillac, Michigan was terrific. When we got there and uh, the city just opened, they gave us the kids in the city and the mayor had it up, you know, had makeup on his wife. And then the guys from the, the, you know, I mean, everybody was into the gym, you know, the, the coach, the whole football team, uh, thousands of kids. I mean, they had this big parade and uh, they gave us this gold plaque and we gave them plaques. And, uh, we took up in a helicopter and drive up, dropped 5,000 leaves and say, kind of like Kiss Loves You. Real hell of a day, man. It was a real love. Uh, yeah, they the Boulevard. Kiss Boulevard. Yeah, kind of like, what a day, man. It's like this, though. It's one of these days. Really, really crazy. Great. We're the planet open bus. And everything like that always starts very innocently. We didn't know anything about uh, the situation in Terre Haute. We got some letters from a uh, young gentleman whose name was Bill Starkey, who was the commander-in-chief of the Terre Haute National Kiss uh, Army. And uh, he, was, he was telling us about the situation in the good city. Supposedly 4,000 uh, army members, kids, nothing, well, army members uh, are demanding things. Very good things, too. Kids should be played once an hour on radio and the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we, we really got off on it, so we came to see what the whole thing was about. Mm-hmm. Cadillac happened the same way. We've got, we got some very nice letters from the football team. Um, and what, they, what happened actually there was the football team was, were losing games, was losing games. And uh, they needed something to inspire the, the players. And the assistant coach, Jim Ness, uh, went to see the Cobra Hall in Detroit and said, well, you know, these guys are really kind of uh, very energetic. Let's put some kit music on when we do our practice sessions. Uh, that happened to work very well. They started to put on the makeup. They went through the defense uh, strategies and they started winning games. Just won the championship. The regional, yeah. whatever. Great. And uh, one thing after another, and we started getting these, these little newspaper things about this, this football team that, that had kids as a defense squad, and you know, they had plays, they had the deuce and the strutter named after a song. The uh, uh, about songs. Yeah, really something. So we had to go see what it was all about. They knocked us out. Just after we knocked us out. They tell us we knocked them out too. <laughs> Oh, what about your music? Do you uh, want it to cross over to Top 40? Do you think uh, Top 40 yeah. stations would take, oh, we, uh, they were taken. Uh, yes. Rock and roll all night for the second That's time. Great. You bet. Why not? I can't even think of the places. No, because we don't think about how, we don't think about writing AMS songs. We, we just do it. It feels good. But if AM takes it, that's terrific. That's great. We're not going to try to adopt, adapt our uh, sound to uh, the MOR stations or any of that kind of thing. People want to play our records, they'll play them. We're, we're going to stay true to ourselves and to our fans, you know? And uh, tomorrow we won't put out a country and western album. I mean, it's, it's not going to be like that. Maybe yeah, 20 years from now. And uh, I'm, I'm glad, you know? I'm really knocked out that the single is a hit. And it's great because it's an honest situation. The radio, ha- radio stations have accepted the fact that it's, that it's our single. It's the single that we put out without any coaching or without kind of trying to do anything, you can you can manufacture hit records, as I'm sure you know. But that is an honest and uh, the important thing is everything that we do on record we can do live. There are no tapes, 
no quiet in the background at all. The fifth album will be what? I mean, the fifth album is probably going to have choirs and choir keys and pianos and stuff. But it'll be there, like, just like the little icing on the cake. Even if we perform, you will, you can take it home and take it like, you like the Beatles and the Stones and all this stuff with all the kids and all. But even if you're holding, you still love them and still appreciate it. The fifth album will be a whole new kick, a whole new, whoever Bob Elton did, Alex Cooper, and Louis Bowen and stuff. And it's still, it's a whole new stuff for us. It's, 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 it's going to be still what we're doing, but it's kind of adding little touches to you know, it. Yeah, we're going to be kind of behind that for a while. But for, after this live album, we're going to whole new show, new outfits, new staging, new songs. I don't know, that's one thing we'll never become a stagnant. You won't find us doing the same thing for years and years. Um, I used to, for instance, 10 years after, used to be a very favorite group of mine, you know, and if you're doing the same thing five years afterwards, Chuck Berry is one of my items, but after 20 years of doing the same stuff, you could, you know, I mean, where, where's the next step? But there's still people that come in. I still want to hear that, no matter what you do, you know, that happens. We still have to play for that. Yeah. All right, well, you're talking about Chuck Berry, and uh, I think, uh, up on the women's bottle. Looks like a name. Hey, you didn't have any on? Ha, 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 ha. Give me a cute little toy. What were you saying? Yeah, about, uh, whoa, whoa. You can go to the door, find out what was out. Hey, you don't take Chuck, uh, Chuck Berry friends. Everybody wants to see his, uh, whoa, the duck one. I can tell what it is. I'm 
Well, I'm a drummer. I have a really primal instrument, and I get very cold. That's what you think the way you see it. Yeah, right. That's who I am. But uh, I, I love them all, and when I'm up there, if I give an hour and a half of tons of sweat, and I'm drenched when I get off, uh, I gave it all, man. You know, I want to get in that car and get back to my hotel and that party. But going through the other night, we just lost a kid, and a few of us got a little fucked up. That's the last little thing now. I don't know what happened again. We know that, uh, you know, the fan after show. That lost the wheel there, guys. Tonight, and you just kind of like sit back and relax and say, Hey, you know, I'm me. That's just 
somebody else you see up there. And I like to put out all my energy, and I do on stage, and I, you know, all of us do. But, uh, all right, you know, I know, I'm funny, I have a really bad temper. And, uh, I just don't, I don't like expensive clothes being ripped off my back, or I, I don't like a hunk of my hand being pulled out of my head, because uh, that really hurts. And uh, if, if my mother pulled my hair out of my head, I'd knock her on her ass. So much less a fan. That's, that's where I am. That's why I'm called a cat. Because I'm really cunning and really, you know, that way. I have a, I'm a drummer. I have a really primal instrument, and I get very cold. Just like what you said in the way through. Yeah, right. Well, that's who I am. But uh, I, I love them all. And when I'm up there, if I give an hour and a half of tons of sweat and I'm drenched when I get off, uh, I gave it all, man. You know, I want to get in that car and get back to my hotel and have a party. But going through it the other night, we just lost a kid, and a few of us got a little tough uh, That's how we're at for us right now. I don't know what happened again. We know that, uh, you know, the fan after show. Just lost the wheeler, guys. All right, here it is. Here's your chance. Your, your big chance in radio. Don't blow it. Watch this. This is Paul Stanley of KISS. WVTS and Enton Limited announced that the KISS concert is now sold out. And the ticket locations, again, the KISS concert is sold out. We thank you for supporting the concert and look forward to your support in the future. As for tonight, for those of you who have tickets, we promise you a show like you have never witnessed. We will get that on. <laughs> Seeing is believing and not believe what you see. However, if you don't have a ticket, I have to read this, folks. Please don't come to the Holman Center tonight. There are no tickets left. Come on, roll. That Let's wasn't bad. Hotel. I hope we'll be at the hotel. Yeah. I hope you stay. I hope you stay in music business. You'll never make it as a job. Anderson Sonoco. Visit Anderson Sonoco. No, 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 that wasn't it, yes. Take it. You guys know what I'm saying? Okay. Terra Hall is good to be here. Yeah, Terra Hall. 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 Yeah, uh, well, I, think we have, I think we have a couple of kiss tunes we're going to play somewhere. Uh, we'll find one. I'm sure we're working on it. There we go. Like a young man out there. Excellent. Did he do a nice job on that? Yes. Before we get started, we do have a couple of presentations to make. Speaking for the city administration, Mayor Brighton's office, I'd like to introduce Mr. Ray Filer. Hi, Ray. Hi, boys. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Kisses to you all. All right. Lisa, on behalf of the... Uh, the Mayor William Brighton in the city of Terrell, Indiana, we're making this a proclamation to present to you in honor of you coming to Terre Haute, a Terre Haute Kiss Day. Yeah. Let me read it to you here. Whereas, Kiss is dedicated to good, clean rock and roll at 105 decibels, whereas Kiss has provided to the people throughout the world clean, sophisticated rock and roll, pleasant to the ear and easy to boogie to, Whereas KISS is the best band in the universe, yeah. whereas KISS is presenting to the Wabash Valley with the best rock concert ever, now therefore I, William J. Brighton, Mayor of Terrell, Indiana, proclaim the day KISS Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means everything for nothing. <laughs> and we have another presentation. Uh, one army meets another army. Oh, yes. We have Sergeant Gore from the U.S. Army here to Sergeant Gore. Sergeant Gore from the U.S. Army will make a presentation. Thank you very much. I want to welcome Kiss and Gary here to Terrell. Glad to have you all with us for sure. And uh, like to say, we're all one army here. We're the Kiss Army and we're the United States Army and we stand together. All right. All right, everybody out there to join Kiss and their army and join the United States Army too if you'd like. I'd like to present you this plaque, United States Army District Recruiting Man, Certificate of Appreciation, and it is presented to Kiss. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank you, Sergeant. Anything else before we move on? Let's play some Kiss music now. Okay. All right, we shall. <laughs> Rich Dickerson with Kiss right here in the Good. studio. Yeah. Right here. Hey. And Bill Starkey is here. Bill, 
Step, step, step over this way. It's time for a Kiss Army letter of the day. Big Bill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I dare you to do one in person. <laughs> I'm not prepared, really. I knew he wouldn't do it in person. You've got to admit, six months ago at this time, if I would have mentioned Kiss, you would have turned your nose up, right? Not me. Oh, oh, no. I've, been, uh, I've been cooperating from the beginning. You know me, it. nice guy. I've got my do members. anything for anybody. I've got my army out there. They said, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you've knocked, you've knocked our letters. You don't believe me? I said, you know, you bring them here, you sell out. You knocked all my letters. They're here, you know. Thanks I'm, to Bill Starkey and Bill Starkey and BTS and our army. A I want special hello to our army. Right yeah. there. Well, well, I want to you thank you for coming down off your throne oh, yeah, well, yeah. for the visit today. <laughs> hey, he's got a throne. They call him a throne because he's the boss. He's the king. Yeah. I don't want to be in the same picture with Bill Starkey. <laughs> Bad for my image. I mean, we do have certain things we have to live up to. One thing I have to our army is not made of little people. Bill is a big guy. He is all right. He's not mess with the real army. Starkey's okay. Big a big guy. Okay. Is there any subject you want to talk about before we go any further? Let's talk about rock and roll, like the U.S. Army, the Kiss Army. Okay, rock and roll first. Let's let also Joe Molina tell him why. Joe Molina is here from the Army. Okay. Okay, Joe, tell us, tell us, tell us how the Army is now involved with uh, this Army. Well, the Army's training and doctrine command about uh, three months ago began a new program where uh, they're trying to get relevant, trying to find something that all the people like. And music is a common medium, and uh, we started doing rock and roll. And Kiss is the first group that we actually had participation with the Army, and we're sort of inaugurating the program, The Stars Meet the Stripes, with Kiss. Stars Meet the Stripes, that's good. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting because the Army is misunderstood, and sometimes Kiss is too, so tonight we're letting it all that's come right. together. It's really, it's really important to us, you know, to Kiss, because, uh, hey, let's have some quiet. Mike, you should talk? That's right, in the microphone. It's, it's, to us, it's really important, you know, because uh, the whole thing with the army is that people tend to forget because of the uniforms and everything that uh, they're us. They're no different, you know, for the guy next door, the you and me, and the guys that want to party and rock and roll, and uh, we're the same. We're all one. It, it goes to show you that just because we have our hair short doesn't mean we're not cool. I mean, we're as freaky as the rest, and we're as they cool as the rest. The only difference between you guys and us is a pair of scissors. That's right. That's it. Well, they got bigger guns than us. Yeah, now, this, <laughs> now, this program is being recorded. Yeah, bombs, this program is being recorded for use on Armed Forces Radio. Is that it? Yeah, Armed Forces Radio has expressed some interest in using it, and they want to send it out. And I think, uh, since when this is going to hit the national press, definitely. I mean, it was, I've never seen something like this. Well, I've been doing, doing rock and roll for two and a half years, and I've never seen such mass participation. The thing that most people don't realize is that little button is U.S. It really spells us. And that's something most people that's don't realize. Yeah. 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 Let them know what's going around the world. And they can know, you know, uh, if this is going around the world, we should become intelligent in this interview. If we possibly could. Is there any way? <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't see any hope in it. Well, uh, if you can have Bob hope in it, or if you can have this talking voice, we can all come over. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to jump on stage tonight and play guitar. Why are we in a basement? In a basement? <laughs> this is an underground radio no, no, station. No, 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 because we get down. We get down, that's why we're in the basement. Oh, it's getting bad. I'll tell you where. I'll leave. You stay. That's back that way. Okay. You know, Anything else you want to talk about? Really okay. I want to thank all the fans that met us at the airport. They were fabulous. It's cold out there. We knew that. And they were really fabulous. Those fans are just cold. And they did cooperate. We do thank you for that. It's important. You know, we can, we can stay and keep talking thank you and this and that. But, uh, you know, I mean, when was the last time you, that we had a, an Army Chief Caravan with us, huh? It's, I think it's Yesterday. great. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 533-1635, if you want to talk to uh, uh, some of the band that's ringing now, help yourself. Go ahead. We'll hear one into the conversation. Okay, say hi. Hi. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, can you see us? That'll be interesting. Anything else? You want to play some more music? Why don't we play a spot again? Why don't we play some commercials now? Okay. <laughs> you've had here it's going to be the best show you ever saw all right very good better, really. all right i think everybody's ready for it uh, okay five three three sixteen thirty five if you don't want to talk to me what you want to tell me who what bands do you like 
I was, other than Kiss. Basically like, the, you know, your top bands. I'm with I'm the Zeppelin and um, the Who and the Stones. Just, just pretty much the, the top of, the top of, you know. Anybody you don't know? Alexander's band is Well, who, who wants to know the back out? <laughs> I just I wondered. I just always ask that question. Nobody yeah, ever answers it. Think I think I'll stop asking it now. There, there are two bands that are really good. Sergeant Peppers, very good band. <laughs> and the record, Alexander. Shout out. Black time band. Shout out. Very good band. It's been a while since they released an album. Um, who are we talking about here? Who is that it? I don't know. Want to hear some deuce? Sure. All right. You got some? at 2061 North 13th is going out of the full roll business and will be doing only remnants after this sale. It's your turn now to save big money. Yes, you heard right, at Remnant King. Right. All right, we have just about five more minutes and you have to go. We know, we do appreciate you coming by. We ought to say that. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. Thanks, all of you. All right, we'll be there. Rock and roll. All right. Rock and roll all night. All right. All right. And the army will be there. And the army will be there. The Kiss Army will be there. Yes, I'm And uh, 10,000 screaming rock and roll fans will be there. Thanks a lot for coming by. Yes, we know we'll be there. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, good. Next time you're in town, say hi. Okay.